The true meaning of visual art is discovered through the time we take to try and comprehend an artist's message or themes. Though varying from person to person, these discoveries truly demonstrate that visual art is just more than what you get to look at. Check this one out. Most often than not, artists with different topics of interest will have an array of artworks that are either based or inspired by various topics. This is a portraiture, this is surrealism, this is classicism, it's like landscape plus human figures, classicism like what you're going to find in the museums in Europe, your levels so many find in, a, in an African version. Yeah, it's a realism you could paint ideas from the mind, like Villa now on a certain situation. I'm a villain try to explore my mind or how the mind works and spirit and stuff. The topics of interest. Now also like this, for example, this is a topic of interest for me. Uh, quantum physics, mind science and stuff. And for this is, I like to master faces. Colors, the face, nani, nani, napenda faces sana, especially Zawatoi. And for this, napenda drawing human figures and also landscapes in the background, like such a landscape, atmospheric depth. That is kuona vitu ziki wambali kapsa. Being able to bring that on canvas, because so much passionate about that. Patrick often immerses himself into scholarly research in pursuit of inspiration for his art, confident that as he peruses, an idea will eventually strike him. I read, so, so I can come up with such an image. I study on the religious side, I study our spirit, our consciousness, and also I found a way that it marries itself with science, that's in quantum physics how consciousness tends to, it's, it's like a fundamental building block in nature, like the observer is part of the universe and stuff. So that's what got me to paint this. For this one, it's just out of love. Like this, there's an idea of love. There's love happening. It's called the black and white palette. So I see this person as one color and this as another color. So the child they create is gonna be a different color, so it's a, a palette. So, tunapenda kutumia hii jini inaitwa kumarinate. Unapata idea inaanza kujijenga in your mind. It marinates until when it makes sense, you can now try to create an image out of that idea that you have. After reading and thinking a lot, there's the where you arrive at. So the point that I arrived at is here. So this and I represent consciousness. This represents the mind and this is a person. So is in zote ziko within consciousness itself. So consciousness may be about the mind and the body. The quality art he makes was not granted by a magic wand. Admittedly, the success he has had with art so far is the culmination of an incessant journey of trial and error. Just like everyone else, Nilianza ku chora tu vitu za kawaida back in school, ku chora, let's say, from comics, ama ku chora, you know, the, the, the normal things kids draw. So before I came together, my mind came together and I decided this is what I'm passionate about in art, this is what I want to paint. I had to try a lot of things. So for this, when you have to make scholarly is I had to study actually how to be able to paint. Here I could naturally. The talent part is the passion. But Lazima you get some type of intellectual knowledge to be able to deliver this. So the journey has been it's been uh, normal, just like for every other person in every career, kuna challenges, but kuna, it's like seasonal. There's a season of plenty and a season of lack, but it's all balanced. I use paint, uh, oil paints in particular. So these are oil paints, they're different from this. These are glossy, but this is more of matte, high reflect light, if you can see closely. And now this, the surface is canvas. So you stretch a canvas, he canvas material ya kawaida. Tunapaka is silk, silk the, the one that we use in, in interiors, square walls, white. So it can have a good surface to work on. And now I lay down the oil paints. 
it's different. Okay, actually, it's there for all types of art, but uh, difference need the, the, the degree. The degree to which you, let's say, for example, for this one, I have to put more mental uh, attention for such. But for these, they just come as I go. The artist understands it is in the job description for an artist to find the equilibrium of meeting their creative needs and those of their clients. You have to find what cuts across, what do you both need? Because if I make art for myself alone, people will not get me. We are all unique. If I make art for myself, it's like making art that satisfies me as a unique human being. But if I listen to other people and I, I just observe what they like and what they're they, they, they want to express, but they can't. But if I make an art piece that can express what they can't, then they relate with it. And I also have to relate with what they're trying to express. So you find like an example of love, Kilam to feel love, but not everyone can paint such. Some people write music, the talented musicians. Now I have to do this, and everyone who sees it want to relate now. Utilizing his studio space, exhibitions and social media platforms has ensured his artworks are conveniently placed and accessible to his audience. First of all, I, I post it online. Not really to get a client, but yes, if I get a client, okay. But it's mostly for my fan base. Like, the people follow me because they like my art. They are not really interested in me as an individual, they just like my mind. So I post it for them, show them what I've been doing. Now for the marketing part also, like Night Push on Instagram, on Facebook. And I also apply for exhibitions when there's a call out and I also go there when I am called. And also have a studio at Upper Hill inside Kenya National Li Library Service where clients can walk in and buy the art. For any upcoming artist, Patrick reiterates that art is a gradual process of learning. He calls upon people to recognize and appreciate art some more. I tell them, watch a kufunze. Don't get in expecting to be an overnight success. You have to be humble. In as much as you see yourself as great, he kid with a humble. So singing in a pride, it will crush you. Just daily steps, you know, you have to lay one brick at a time. Like Rome was not built in a day, but they were laying bricks every day. That's what I tell everyone, buy a sketchbook, pole pole daily, you're going to grow organically. So you're going to get there as long as you have patience and direction. The importance of art to society is, um, like for example, I'm, t I'm telling a story. The stories which were never told or the feelings that were never expressed, there's a cry within everyone's heart or something they desire to express, but they cannot. When you're able to see a painting that explains that, there's a release within you. So that's more in the lines of uh, mental therapy. The other one is culture. It's cultural to have art in your house. And people should not settle for Kubai prints just to decorate their wall. You have to do a bit more, it has to be a bit more. If you need class, you need to have art. Yes, something hand-drawn is much more, for lack of a better word, divine compared to Vitu Zime Figua Picha na Zime Kwatu. Well, I have a space at Kenya National Library Service. We're actually five artists, five visual artists. We are registered as a CBO. That's where we teach from. I can teach you anything you see behind me. Uh, on social media, I'm JNR Art. J N W A R Art. Most of my profile pictures, which are I'm either painting or it's a painting on my profile picture. That's in Instagram, in, uh, in Facebook, and in Twitter. That there is a classic example of art complementing the message and the message complementing the art.